Yeah, yeah, I have yeah, called yeah. my son. Yes. Mm. Who does it pertain to? Mm. Israel or Jesus? Both. Yeah. Yes. Both. So there is prophetic value. And when you were talking about the numbers and, and John chapter 11, and Lazarus was a real man who Jesus loved, oftentimes resorted at their table in Bethany. Martha, Mary, Lord, he whom thou lovest mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. is sick. How many times was he at the table sharing and the disciples with all kinds of joy? Oh, Mary, you should have seen the leper that was cleansed. You should have heard the master today as he spoke about the kingdom of God. I would have loved to be at that table. Mm -hmm. Lazarus was there and they hosted Jesus. That was the house he would go to when he went to Bethany. And so Lazarus was a real man that really died. Mm -hmm. and that really needed a resurrection that was really sick but he's more than Lazarus it's more than a sick man getting healed or a dead man being raised it's what he represented yes. Yes. all the miracles of Jesus have prophetic significance in fact John put it this way all the books in all the world could not record all that Jesus said and did. Amen. How many know he was busy about his father's business? Yes. And yet recorded for all posterity is about 30 miracles. And yet he healed all the sick that yes. were among the Amen. multitude. But there's something about this 30. It's not just to give us a record that he could open up blind eyes and open up deaf ears, but it's the prophetic significance. Mm -hmm. And with the raising of Lazarus, when he got the message through the messengers, Lord, who, he whom thou lovest is sick, mm -hmm. Jesus sent his word back with them. Mm -hmm. And he said these words, this sickness is not mm -hmm. unto death. death. Yes. Now watch, but Four. Someone say four. Four. The sickness was the crisis, but the crisis is always for, for something. something. Yes. Yes. It's for the glory of God yes. and that the Son of God might be glorified. Notice how Lazarus wasn't mentioned. No matter what you're going through, it's your crisis, but your crisis is for yes, right. the glory of that's God. Right. Amen. Your crisis right. is not the glory of God, but that the glory of God might come forth yes, out of yes, Christ. Yes, that's right. Hallelujah. And oftentimes we set ourselves up for the enemy's devices mm. because we see ourselves in the middle of that it's all about us. It's not about us. It's about the glory of God. Amen. Paul said, whether I live or whether I die, it's for the glory of God. Yes, it's yes. for the Son to be glorified. So the worsening condition of Lazarus that caused his family to weep, that caused his friends to mourn, was a divine setup for the greater glory of God yes. to be revealed yes. and for the resurrection and the life to be unveiled. Hallelujah. If Jesus would have healed Lazarus, he would have been another sick man healed by the healer. But the very death of Lazarus served as an opportunity to unveil another dimension of Christ, yes. that he is the resurrection and the life. Yes. And so I want to encourage you that whatever your crisis is, Jesus. it is for the opportunity for God to unveil another aspect yes. of his glory. Amen. Yes. How do we pray in a crisis? It is not, Lord, get me out. It is, Lord, reveal yourself. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Yes. 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 